Today, we are going to try some new Dunkin' favorites. You guys know I like Dunkin'. So today, we actually have a couple different things. I'm gonna try it on this table to see if it like holds up. But this right here Ooh, is, oh, it's got a hair at the bottom? Like outside, right? Oh, it's right here. That might be your hair, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, um, so we have a Dunkin' iced s'mores uh, latte, oat milk s'mores latte. And so we're gonna try that today. That is absolutely, ooh, it stays. Oh shit, dude, this is kind of cool. And then I got a Twisted Dragon Recharge, sorry, not Twisted, Tornado Twisted Spark Energy, uh, which says two berry burst syrups and two peach uh, sun sun syrups and sparkling water. So we're gonna try that too. Oh my God, the table's holding up, what the fuck? Anyway, we're gonna try this out. Let's try the coffee first, the Sparked Energy. Actually, you know what, can we try the Sparked Energy first? I don't care. I'm gonna try the coffee afterwards um, because today we're gonna try out first the comparison okay so we're not only trying Duncan but first and foremost we want to compare a couple things and that happens to be uh, as, as we were in Starbucks drive-through we saw that Starbucks has a similar croissant stuffer type thing what is it actually called do you, do you remember it's like called like croissant I need to find the names of these things because then it could be easier for us to like go over this shit. Maybe I should do that next time, but anyway. My point is... Well, if you um, get the general gist, it's not bad. Yeah, so there's like some croissant thing that Starbucks it's like a has. It's ham stuffer. Exactly. It's like a stuffer, it's not like a sandwich. It, it's a, oh, it's ham and Swiss croissant, that's it. Versus Duncan having a ham and Swiss croissant stuffer. And so we're gonna try the two, let's check it out. First, we're gonna try this drink here, the Tornado Sparked Energy, let's see. It's not bad. I don't know how to describe it though. It, I don't know how to describe it though. It, I don't know how to describe it though. It tastes like a bunch of berries, a bunch of different flavors put together, which I read the description and it had peach and berries and things like that. But I can't distinguish one flavor on this. I can't. It almost tastes like, like if you had like one of those berry blast Gatorade type things, but more on the lighter side of the berries, not like dark berries, like blueberries and shit like that. But if you had like one of those, just with sparkling water and then I can taste whatever it is that makes it caffeinated in the back and I can taste it a little bit It's good though the, the fact that these things are sparkling. Oh my god. I spit everywhere. Jesus Christ I, I need a napkin the fact that these things are sparkling though is actually one of the best aspects of it because it I don't know, it adds this little soda effect to it. I really, really enjoy that soda effect. So I'm gonna try this with the croissant stuffers. With, croissant all right, this right here, this is ham and Swiss croissant and then the croissant stuffer. So let's look first at the ham and Swiss I'm croissant. Drink. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, the lighting is so, I need the, I need the like, oh shit, it's gonna be too, it's gonna be too bright. Hold on, give me a second guys, let me fix this up. Okay guys, I fixed it, I'm sorry. The, the sun was shining really, really hard onto this and so you couldn't really see it. But this is the, the ham and Swiss croissant from Starbucks. Again, a little more on the girthy side but shorter in length, I would say, versus the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my God, what does it even look like that? It looks like the cheese on it is all melted and stuff like that. Asiago cheese bagel. Yeah, it's like an Asiago cheese bagel styled thing. Now again, I have no problem with that. Again, it's like going to the the sub sandwich shop, Publix, or Subway, or what's it, Jersey Mike's or something, and they say, hey, well, what kind of bread do you want? Do you want a rosemary kissed bread? Do you want Parmesan crusted bread? Do you want herbs and cheese? Well, this one comes with that kind of like herbs and cheesiness to it. It doesn't look too cool because it's all, it's all petrified by the, by the flames of the ovens. And then this one's more like a soft and my grandma made these for me. Yeah, but uh, it's crunchy. Pillsbury. Yeah, this comes with a little crunch. So we're gonna try it out. This is typical. I know this one very well. So I'm gonna take <laughs> the first bite here. Mmm. I gotta feel a little crunch to it, right? I got mm. Yeah, it's got a little no, it's got a little crispy bad. crunch. It also leaves a lot of like crumbs everywhere. I have no problem with it. I'm gonna give this to Haley because Haley's about to bite my head off. She's so hungry. Mm. You can't go wrong with that. We're gonna wash it down with this. Tornado. Tornado beverage. It almost tastes like bleachy a little bit. What, the drink? Yeah. You think the drink tastes bleachy? 
bleachy. Oh my god, he said bleachy. Uh -uh. It's like shit. All right, guys. Croissant suffer from Dunkin'. You can't go wrong with it. It has that little crisp to it. It has that pull from the crispiness, the edginess of it, crunchiness mm, of it. Cheesy it's cheesy. The crust is cheesy. You can you can sense that in it. Feel that. Taste that. This one's more soft. I, even when I grab it, it's like a it's like a little titty. Like oh. I'm sorry, I say that a lot. But in real talk, it's like that. Now you can see in the hole. You want to see in the hole? It goes deep. You know what I'm saying? And so it doesn't look very filled though. Yeah, it's not that filled. But this looks like it could give you more of a of an actual bakery feel. You know, we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna try this end. I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself into that hole, uh, a little hole. Like Actually, I'm just real, gonna go crazy. Like, all this shit though is like packaged, so mm -hmm. <laughs> there's mm -hmm. no bakery feel. <laughs> Off the bat, the croissant taste to this is more bready, soft bready. Hmm. I don't know if Duncan just found a way to make croissants have its own peculiar taste. Well, if you compare the bread, this one's thicker actually. I'm gonna one. I'm gonna be real though. I've gotten croissant bread at Duncan before. My opinion is not the same as the croissant stuffer croissant. This is giving me croissant bread, although this bread is 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 kind of lovely. I kind of like it. It's kind of lovely. Mhm. Mm but it's more fluff, like more fluff and more bread to it. No problem with that. Yeah, but compare both of them. They look the same. Mhm. -mm. This one's like a flaky ass. Ooh, I'm dropping it. All right, guys. Today's video sponsor is. I don't have a fucking video sponsor. Can you somebody? Can sponsor me already, please. Like literally, that's what this is about. Okay, I couldn't find a good cut in the Haley. Stop drinking the freaking pineapple beer thing. And it's not beer. Okay, no alcohol on that. But guys, please sponsor me. I like food. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to spin your eye. I like food. Sponsor me, okay? Duncan, Panera. I don't know. Papa John's. No. Anyway, the point is. Today's video sponsor is non-existent, and I would love a video sponsor because, in all honesty, guys, please send me free food. I'll eat it. I'll try it in we're front of the poor. camera. Uh, not necessarily poor. Or thankful that we're not. <laughs> but no, th th thankful that I'm not poor. But you know, send me some food. I'll try it in front of the camera. I would absolutely give you honest reviews. Uh, that is our, our today's video. I am today's video sponsor. Okay, I I am today's video sponsor. That's it. All right. Thank you. I'm going back to the video now. Um, during the quick break while I was waiting for my camera to cool down, I did, however, uh, do some research on these different things. And I want to give you guys some price points. I want to give you guys some nutritional facts. Again, besides the, the fact that the Dunkin' Croissant Stuffer is crispier, it has a flakierness to it, crunchiness to it a little bit. And then the Starbucks Chris Ham and Swiss Croissant is uh, more fluffy and whatnot, which is fine. I have no problem with that. Um, I wanted to go over how much you're paying for these things, right? Are you are you really getting your bargain for your buck, right? So the ham and Swiss croissant from Starbucks is $4.95 uh, from Starbucks, at least my location. I'm in Florida, so 7% sales tax leads you to... Can you stop using the thing as a shake weight? <laughs> Yo, She's literally using my... Tri Dude, you're in the freaking thing. That's in the tricep area. Oh my gosh, I can feel the definition already. That's a real workout. You just shake it. Anyway, so ham and Swiss croissant is four ninety five, seven percent sales tax leads you with five dollars and thirty cents for this one on this left side here. Um, damn, it's in the sun. I gotta make sure like I'm getting that. So the sun changes so often. So anyway, uh, so yeah, five thirty there. Now typically. The Dunkin' one is a little bit cheaper in general. It's $4.49. This one right here, the crispier one, is $4.49. I'm gonna talk about flavor real quick. The flavor, oh my god, this what? thing keeps pulling oh, my I hairs. It's like attaching that. to me. Look at this. It's like, because I'm fing hairy. Look at that. All my hairs are standing up. I'm gonna get electrocuted, bro. F anyway, my point is the Dunkin' one is $4.49, while the Starbucks one is $5. Um, well, no, actually. It's a 50 cents difference. So the so the Starbucks one is 4 495, the Dunkin one is 4 uh, 49. Now this is the reality of what I want to present to you, okay? Dunkin has a great rewards program in which case they give you offers every so often and one of the offers were if I buy a drink, which I bought a drink, right? 
I got this croissant stuffer for $2 off. So the croissant stuffer here actually started out at $2.49. This Starbucks one is already $4.95. So for the most part, because the, the taste difference here is not that much different, and I would almost say that the Starbucks one is not as crispy as the Dunkin' one, for the savings that you could get with the Dunkin' Rewards, I would 110% think in my heart that I would go for the Dunkin' more, not only because it gave me a discount, and not that Starbucks doesn't have a rewards program, but Starbucks has its stars program and all that. Starbucks will give you points for buying this, Dunkin' will also give you points for buying this, but Dunkin' gave me $2 off on that one. Same size almost, just a little bit crunchiness to the Dunkin' side. I would go for price point and taste point, the Dunkin' being a little bit more of a value. Now, I do wanna go into calories and into nutritional facts, right? The ham and Swiss croissant stuffer, the ham and cheese croissant stuffer from Dunkin' is at 330 calories, while the one at uh, Starbucks is 320 calories so the duncan one is 10 more calories the only difference here um besides that the sodium on and and i'm i'm literally having to go like this right because duncan is kind of inefficient with the the way they set up their oh god it's showing the reflection of everything let me see here duncan is a little bit inefficient on how they show it if you can see they give you a pdf and then and then it's red from like left to right i wish it, i wish duncan didn't do that but duncan does have to offer a lot more um sandwiches and snacks and things like that so i totally understand why they do it but for the most part, this is really hard to read, Duncan. If you guys could fix that part, that would be amazing. I don't like the fact that it's so hard to read your nutrition facts versus just to put things in perspective, if you're trying to see Starbucks, it's just bada boom. Like it's just literally labeled down as if you bought it from a store and you check the nutritional label facts. And I appreciate that from you, Starbucks. If you are health conscious, Starbucks is gonna give you more availability to see what it is that you're consuming. What, how many calories, how, many, how much sodium, speaking of sodium, now, the croissant stuffer from Dunkin' has 580 grams of sodium based on their, their PDF, while the Starbucks one only has 490. Wow, that is absolutely a 90 milligram sodium difference that can add up if you eat this stuff quite often. And for the most part, if you're going for a healthier route pertaining to your blood pressure and sodium and whatnot, Starbucks is gonna save you a few milligrams of sodium. The same thing with, let's see the other details here. Total fat on the ham and cheese croissant stuffer from Dunkin' is 17 grams. Okay, equal match there, 17 grams for the, the Starbucks one. Let's see, saturated fats, nine saturated fats here, 10 on the ham and cheese croissant stuffer from Dunkin'. I feel like there's a slight size difference in them anyway, so maybe that, that caloric difference, maybe the fat difference, maybe the sodium dif difference comes along with the difference in size. That could very well be the case. Um, let's see what else. Carbs, 30 carbs for the Dunkin' version, while 28 for the uh, Starbucks version. Again, a little bit of a size difference there. Let's see how much protein we got on the ham and cheese croissant stuff for 14 grams. Starbucks uh, is also 14 grams. So we're looking at very negligible differences when it comes to these different things. And it could be, again, the size difference as well. I wish it told me how many ounces each one is. What I would love to see a little bit more of from Dunkin' is a little bit more transparency in what is actually in your food. That is the only thing I would say that I don't love. Uh, the ham and cheese croissant stuffer, or let me see, the ham and Swiss croissant from Starbucks actually tells you everything that's in it. Wheat flour, malted barley flour, niacin, reduced iron, so on and so forth. Uncured ham, no nitrates. No nitrates added except those naturally occurring in sea salt, celery juice, and cherry powder. You know, uh, Swiss cheese, part skim milk, cheese culture, unsalted butter, uh, water, sugar, yeast, sea salt, eggs. This is absolutely a healthy competitor compared to the Dunkin' one. Although the Dunkin' one gives you a little bit more flavor, I can't speak for what's in it because Dunkin' does not give us transparency when it comes to what's in their croissant stuffer. So. Again, if there's a place, Duncan, that you could that you could show that, um, I'll do some more research, and if I have to edit this video and change it back, I will. I don't have the time right now because there's a few other things that I'd like to try. Again, the price difference is there when you have the rewards. Again, I would give the croissant stuffer from Duncan, I'll give it an eight out of 10 just for the fact that the price, the taste, and the caloric density, and, and the different 
you know, the macronutrients, uh, the difference in the macronutrients is negligible in all honesty and the size is a little bit bigger. So it makes sense. I would go with the Dunkin' one if I had to make a choice. However, if I was really watching my calories, if I was really watching what I was taking into my body in the case of like health and, and longevity of myself, right? Obviously, you don't want to eat either of these things too often. You want to make your food at home and, and be smart about it. Again, I only do these things on the weekends anyway. For the most part, I try my best to. Um, I'm trying, okay? Duncan, Duncan, there's a Duncan where I work and it's really hard to not go and buy it. But anyway, if I was going to longevity, I would go the Starbucks route. Starbucks, however, is more expensive. We know that Starbucks is considered a premium when it comes to premium coffee, premium everything, you know, for the most part. While Duncan is a little bit less considered premium and more for the demographic of people that can afford that kind of thing. Both are not that far in difference, so sometimes you can in price i mean uh sometimes you can just vary how you how you buy from each but yeah that's the stats right now i would again give duncan the 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 win on this one just because it tastes a little bit better than the starbucks one but health wise i just i would say it's lacking a little bit as well and transparency duncan be a little more transparent with what you're doing with these with these stuffers okay oh. Hey guys, if you like that last video and any videos where I try foods and snacks and anything like that uh, and you have any suggestions on different foods or snacks that you think I should try on camera, absolutely put it in the comment section below. Um, I gotta work on this whole situation here. That's coming soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace out. Later.